EA have released a 93 plus Path to Glory Make Your Mark or Make Your Mark Plus player pick. So it's very similar to what we saw last week, but now you've got Team 2 from Path to Glory as well included. 88, 87, so same requirements as the one we saw last week as well. And the first one on my account, and that's why I get, really, I've already got these two as well. I'm not even going to go for him. I'm not going to go for Illich. I'm going to go for him, Cappy, because of the rating. Does he actually go for a bit? He does, but I've already got him. Uh, let's see how good the second one is. Good luck, man. First one, 100% an L. Finish a chem style, okay? I thought he was going to drag it down for some good luck. What we got? Gonzalez, Kivor, Lenormand. It's not great, is it? It's not great. At least Gonzalez is still in the tournament, though. The price of the SBC is 178,000 coins. So it's definitely not cheap. Like 88, 87 rated team. They def definitely didn't like hold back when it comes down to the value. The third one we see. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's bad. That's really bad. Fourth one. Come on. I want to see a big player today. We need to see a big player. Who we got here? Kavara is nice. The Celso is not too bad either. And Dragusin's actually okay. Kavara 100%. That's a double. That's 100% a double. Everyone's got it, apparently. Everyone's ready to go to open it. Good luck, man. No, no. Trossard. Does he... I know, of course, they're out of the tournament, right? But, like, does he actually still... He's searching up the price for us. Yeah, he does. He still goes for, like, three to 400,000. That's a W as well. Oh, we got some 84 pluses as well. I'm definitely down to open some 84 pluses. See if we uh, actually get lucky today. Yesterday, we did see Path to Glories. Not many, though, did we? It was mostly just uh, high-rated golds. Cancelo, I guess. 89, 88, 86. And the player pick. We get a Chananoglu and a DeMarco as well. This Chananoglu card, I'm pretty sure, also goes for a little bit. Quite rare as well. We, we haven't seen it much. Yeah, he's 500,000 coins. I would definitely take him over DeMarco. DeMarco is like 100 to 200,000. The 93 plus. Good luck, man. What are we getting? Fulkrug, Vlahovic, and then Illich right in the middle, boys. I mean, you already got Fulkrug. You got already Vlahovic. I guess just go for him, right? Go for the middle guy. Good luck, man. Good luck. What we got? We have got Gonzalez again. Illich seems like he's so common. And then we get Kostic again. Yeah, go for Gonzalez. Pepe, come on then. Give us the luck. Go ahead. Trent. Oh, or Kolo Um... Wow, that's up to you. Honestly, that's a tough one because Trent is really good as like a holding midfielder. But that Colin Moane card, I have matched up against him and he's really, really nice as well. Doku's amazing. That 97 Doku's a joke. Hmm. Jan, Stanisic, Ozkan or Ozkan. Uh, I guess Jan, he's very small though. Like very, very small. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Good luck. First one. Oh, you know what? It's just nice to see a path to glory from an 84 plus player pick. So yeah, we'll take it. Even though you could argue it's one of the worst ones. At least he's still a 95 overall though. That should save you a good amount on an SPC. Third one, 86 Dembele, Valverde. All right, come on in. This 93 plus. I still feel like we need to see an incredible, incredible card. A card that goes for like over a mil. Lukaku. That is an incredible card. I don't think he goes for a mil or over a mil anymore though. Yeah, he's... Oh, my God. He's dropped a lot. He used to be over a mil. Team 2 cards. We need to see more Team 2 cards. I feel like a lot of Team 1 players are popping up. Wendell, Musa, McTominay. It didn't even take him two seconds to make that decision. Have they been good to you guys? I feel like, for me, they've given me a lot of high-rated fodder, but nothing, like, amazing. I think my best pull so far is uh, Navas. And to be honest, that's not a bad pull. I know he ain't got strength, but potential 5-star, five 5-star, five right? 84, 87, 84, 84. Typical 84 plus player pick, to be honest with you. Last one before we open a 93 plus. Oh, we get Kototo or Bruno Fernandes. 93 plus. Here we go. Good luck, man. Oh, black. Na talking about Navas. And we also get a uh, Jonathan David as well. I would definitely recommend going for David, but Navas has the potential to get the upgrade. You know what I mean? To be fair, David does as well, but up against Argentina. He's taking his time with it, chat. Hold on. There you go. He was waiting for the perfect moment. He definitely didn't feel uh, that moment. We got Pepe next to a player pick once again. What are we getting? No. I mean, I was about to say no one, but DeMarco is definitely someone. I think if we go ahead and open it, it's going to take us to the player pick. Or maybe not. Okay, he doesn't have the player pick. I think it's Benucci. No. Oh, it's uh, Barella. 
That's actually quite a rare card to see, by the way. You do not see him that often. Let's just do it normally. We'll open the 84 pluses first. I'm skipping these, though. We'll do a little bit of the skip theory. Why not? All right, the skip theory's not working, boys. Mayday. 85, 87. Oh, black. Mm, not good. 93 plus. No, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Stanisic, Danso, Yogate. All, all L's in my opinion. Did you know 65% of people watching this video right now are not subscribed? So if you are enjoying the video, make sure to leave a like and hit that sub button. A blind player pick. He wants me to do this. We're like, what, 15 player picks in? Maybe a little bit less and we're already doing one of these. It should be opened. I'm going to just do this. And we're clicking you right here. We have selected Undav, 95 Undav. I mean, he's like 120, but it's an L. Good old Harry Maguire, man. Look at that smile as well. I don't know what rating he is going to be next year, but I hope it's not a silver because if it is, that's disrespectful. But Celso, but you already got him. Jean Felix next to the 93 plus. I respect it, man. Good luck, Hollow Moon. Who we got? Oh, oh my God. The Portuguese connection. Oh, that's a that's a beautiful replacement for your, your Joe Gomez as well. Carl Walker or Cafu? Cafu better going forward. Carl Walker better on defense. Depends what you're looking for. Who are we getting? Undav, Charles de Ketelaer, and Marcado as well. Uh, I would probably, yeah, just go Undav. You already got the other two. Ready when you are, man. Ready when you are. Good luck. McTominay, Oscan, Cascante as well. Nah. I would probably go for McTominay. I think he's the most usable card out of the lot, but probably just going to be fodder for you. I think I know which one uh, he likes better, Ronaldo or Messi. I think we know the answer to that question. Danso, Adams, Alvarez. Adam's card ain't actually too bad, but yeah, you already got him. Another blind pick, boys. You want me to do it? I'll go ahead and do it. Hopefully, no one incredible pops up. And if they do, hopefully, I actually select it. We're going to go right here. That's the one. Who have we got? Danso, 95 Danso. I have a feeling that might have been the highest rated card there. We're doing a nose player pick. It's happening now. Come on. Danny Olmo. Very decent. Koksu and uh, Jimenez as well. 100% Danny Olmo. He, I keep searching up his price, but I keep forgetting. It's like 300. Yeah, 300,000 coins. He's actually quite cheap. That Gabriel, honestly. Whoever did that Gabriel objective, fair play because that card is really, really good. On the other hand, this player pick, not so great. The brightness has been sent all the way to 100 apparently on this one. Good luck. Gonzalez. Nunes is decent. You could take him and chuck him into the Evo to make him better if you want to. But I would actually recommend just going for Gonzalez because, again, five-star, five-star potential. And he probably will get it. Obadorf, Dembele, Kulamoane. And the final player is going to be an L. A straight L. Wow, that's bad again. Am I controlling this? I am not. I'll put that top right. Danso, Sesco, McTominay. It's just not amazing, is it? It's just not amazing. I'd probably go for Sesco. Please, EA. I know we saw I know we saw Ruben Diaz, but I want to see someone else that's like up there. Uh Le Celso. We're not gonna be disappointed about Le Celso. We'll take a Le Celso. Liao is so rare to get. Can we see him now? Now I was hoping a Mike Fury came into play. It's just not good, is it? It's good fodder. That's something I will say. Really good fodder. I don't think there's any player from that club, right? In this that you can get? I don't think so. <laughs> Good old Palestri. It's a little bit OP with the finesse shot and everything. Good luck, man. What we got? Ferran Torres. That's a good card. That's a very good card. One of the best pulls today. Pedri, five-star, five-star, boys. Like, no joke. That card would be incredible. I'm looking forward to that. Watkins. Jonathan David, I'm going to guess. If he goes over to the other screen, it is. Yeah, Jonathan David, Watkins, and Joao. Am I controlling this? I am not. Again, I'll put that top right. Go ahead, man. Good luck. Mm, Jonathan David, he's popping up so much today. You've only got one player that you ain't got. So, yeah, might as well. You can get an SBC soft band if you do too many 82 plus player picks in a short period of time, but you can't actually get an SBC band. That's the one thing that is actually nice. Soft band shouldn't be a thing anyway, regardless. Again, oh, this time you get Charles. I 100% recommend going for him. You can go for someone else if you want to, though, but honestly, Charles is really, really nice in game. I think Spain win today, but France, you can't sit there and say France have no chance. France 100% have a chance, but I do believe Spain will win today. Kavara, incredible full man, really good. Five star, five star as well. 
He wants me to go ahead and click it. Good luck, man. No, Modric. Very good, Paul. He should still go for a bit. Yeah, he's 300, two to 300,000 coins. Honestly, so good. He's got a rapid, quick step, technical with base finesse shot as well. He's a really, really nice card. You do get XP now for playing rivals, for playing foot champs and squad battles, uh, featured squad as well. You do get XP at the end of the game. So if you're still needing XP for Puskas, go ahead and grind that. That's an L. Cole Palmer and Ruben Diaz in the same player pick. Can we see something like that? No. Yeah, you're seeing that while we are seeing this. Gonzalez. He's doing a 650k pack. Jordi, good luck, man. Hopefully you actually get something good. You got an icon. Spain, right back, Navas. No, I don't know how to feel because realistically, yeah, it's great to see an icon and all, but Navas is the highest rated path the glory card that we've got in there. He's a nice six though, so there's a few players that would be nice to see. Is that Zola? It is. I guess, man, I guess. He doesn't really go for much on the market. Wait, I don't know. We have to. It's a duo guarantee. Sorry, did we open the wrong pack? Nah, because yesterday, yesterday, we were seeing like six, seven Path to Glories in one pack. Today, two. Two with an icon. 650k pack, he'll be left with 9,000 coins. Twice now we've seen someone get left with 9,000 coins. Right wing? Oh, it's uh, Palestri. He's now a 95 overall. Who else have we got here? It's a Euros card. Could be anyone. Could be Navas. <laughs> you know, like, you would realistically say... Out of everyone he could have guessed, he actually guessed it correct. But let's be fair here, all right? Let's be fair. We have seen this guy so many times, it was so typical to it to be Navas. That's why I mentioned his name. Yeah, it's an L, boys. If you're looking at percentages, we're probably looking at like 20% of these. Maybe slightly less has been Ws. Heron Torres, not bad. Ollie Watkins, hmm. I mean, Ferran Torres is okay. A lot of potential. Ollie Watkins has a lot of potential as well. Could become five-star, five-star, to be honest to you. Anyone else here? We get Pelestri, of course. We get Koksu. And I'm going to guess there's nothing chilling in the dupe section. He has got nine dupes, though. Yeah, Ferran Torres is a little bit. We've seen worse. We've definitely seen worse. He's casually got Puskas just chilling next to the player picks. Good luck, man. 85-85. Good old Kimmich. Varan. I would love, like, an incredible flashback Varan. Oh, honestly, like, I feel like Varane this year, he had some nice cards for sure. And he's even had a good Evo as well. I remember at one point he had a really nice Evo. Von Matty's pretty decent. But I feel like Varane, we need to get like a really high rated flashback card, man. I need that. Oh, and a Theo Hernandez. Theo for sure. I can't believe you actually got two 97s in the same player pick, to be honest. That's quite rare to see. Yeah, that's unreal. Theo and Bon Matty is so good. 84, 10, 87, 4, 85, 7. 85, 7. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay, hold on. Who's that? Uh, Why do I keep Pop, of course? I don't know what it is, but I get Puyol and Pop mixed up when they don't even come from the same nation. Pop, I think that's Ferran Torres. That's actually good. 85-7 gives out Ferran Torres. That's actually a good pull. It's time, finally. At the 84-20, he gets a path to glory. Hold on. This could change up his team massively. All of a sudden, his team could go from an 89 exchange to all of a sudden, a premium 92 rated team for Kafu. What's going to happen? He gets Navas. You know what? That's actually not too bad for him. Honestly, that's actually not too bad for him. Getting a Navas is not terrible, but it looks like he's not happy with it. Rank 5 rewards. Let's see it. Come on. Does rank 5 give out? If uh, this gives out, we're ending or we're finishing rank 5 next, next week on the main account. Declan Rice? No way. I was about to say, like, hold on a second. Did they actually want me to finish rank five? What is this? First one. What are we getting? No, no. All right. It's typical. That's your typical player pick. A casual Dabinga. Looking over to the next player pick as well. Shawinga. Yeah, well, that's... You could actually argue that is kind of a small W for rank five, but nah. He definitely won't be left with... Uh... <laughs> Little coins. Bro, bro has 8.3 million coins. Oh, Alvarez. That's the first time we see him. I don't know what I don't know what his price is on the market anymore. I have no idea. He should be a lot though. I think that's Navas. He should be a lot. Let me see this. Alvarez, how much? 631,000 coins. He also gets Gonzalez as well. That's a decent pack. That's a W. Hopefully they do shapeshifted this year. We enjoyed Shapeshifter last year.
giving us that check card in a striker position was so good. Uh, Borgia, 95 overall. That's fine. It's an okay start. We've seen better, but we can still see something incredible here. I'm feeling a Pedri. Don't know why. It's a Navas. Why would I not guess Navas? We've seen this guy so many times already today as well. Anyone else that's decent in here? No, this one looks like an L, boys. Four path to glories, five path to glories, but none of them really go for too much. Apart from Navas, he's like 150. I think the new season will be footies themed, but I don't know if the promo actually starts on Friday. I don't think it will. Mascherano, Kuehl, Rizisky. I would just go for him because of the fodder, because of the rating. 650k pack, good luck. He's done it with coins. And he's got himself a Navas as the first walkout. I have lied. He has got himself an Ollie Watkins, which is a 96 overall. Second one could be a Navas. Could be. It's not. It's a Pedri. 98 overall Pedri. That's a good pull. He's like five, 600,000 coins. It's a dub, boys. It can only get better. Well, can it get better? You know what? Navas, Ferran Torres, Ollie Watkins, Wendell. I actually ended up pushing my pull to a side, though. He ain't got that intercept that I want in that midfield. It keeps bouncing off him. Not a big fan. Spain, right back, of course. Who else would it be, right? Who else would it be? Uh, we got two Euro cards. And Delict. That's a W. This card, incredible, man. Incredible. It's a dub. A Delict is like 800,000 coins. If uh, Netherlands end up losing, of course, he's going to crash in price. I'm very interested to know, though, how far he will go. Because at this moment, he's 750,000. I reckon if they lose, he might be going down to like four to 500,000. I don't know how many 650k packs we've opened, but we've opened a lot. And we've got an icon and it's also lagging and we've got Lacelso. Okay. Imagine this is like an R9, by the way. I honestly, every single time we get an icon like this, I just think of like an R9 or a Mia Ham walking out. Is that Pirlo? It actually is Pirlo. Sure, I guess. Uh, do I really need to tell you guys how much PLR goes for? I don't think I need to tell. I don't think I even need to search it up, to be honest to you. It's probably under 100,000 coins. Anyway, let's sell someone who? Palestri, Borgia, Herrera. That Lacelso has a lot of potential, but at this moment, like value-wise, he's not much on the market. So I think at the moment, we have to call it a small L, but it could actually be a W in the future. 